It is 10 a.m. on the East Coast, and as President Biden looks towards 2024, which is two years away from now, the uh, or a year now, yeah. right? We just yeah. turned 23, year. right? Yeah. A year ago. A uh, new polling from the Washington <laughs> Post and ABC News indicates that it may be an uphill battle. 58% of people say that the Democratic Party should nominate someone other than President Biden to run, as more Americans are concerned about his mental sharpness and his ability to compete against Republican challengers. This follows additional polling showing the president's approval rating at just 36%. However, the polling was conducted using a random national sample. That means it cannot be guaranteed that those surveyed will actually go out and vote. CBS News political director Finn Gomez joins us now to talk about this. Uh, so Finn, with that uh, sort of caveat there, does this polling actually make any difference in Biden's positioning as the party supported frontrunner? But by the way, Vlad, it's actually and it's 547 days away till until November 5th, 2024. <laughs> I, mean, just, I, just, I, I, I guess I can tell you're absolutely counting the days. <laughs> I am counting the days. Absolutely. And um, most Americans are speaking, like, uh, I'll see you then. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like taking it off one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> Um, uh, but no, I mean, I spoke to some Democratic sources close to the White House who say, uh, frankly, it, it, it doesn't. I mean, the president is the president. He's the incumbent. He is the front runner. And uh, per like DNC senior sources, uh, there are no plans to hold primary debates. Uh, so there's no real um, uh, space for uh, for potential uh, rivals to to use that platform to try to you know, they, they say debates are the great equalizer. You really, you're not going to see that in Democratic primary. So um, it really doesn't affect his uh, front runner status uh, in this cycle, Vlad. So more polling in this report shows a fictional matchup between President Biden and former President Trump, which seemingly shows a majority would vote for former President Trump. Considering this is a random national sample, what does that really tell you about voter sentiment right now? Uh, you know, it's it's early, as as, as you and Vlad uh, both said, Anne Marie, and I think that I think Democrats uh, are are pointing to that. That maybe not a lot of people are paying attention, uh, but there is a lot of unease right now. If you just look at not only this polling, this Washington Post polling, but you know ours that came before, and even uh, you know uh, a couple more before that, that there is this consistent narrative of, of voters having this unease over the economy and also you know over the way that things are going uh, in the state of the economy, even though some, you know, there are indicators that, that show that it, is, it has improved. Uh, you know, age is a factor that continues to rise up as an issue uh, among some, uh, some uh, uh, likely voters, including Democrats. So that's going to continue. And, uh, but we're going to keep an, you know, keep an eye on that and see how these factors develop over time. Again, it's early, uh, you know, uh, one of the key Republican uh, potential uh, uh, rivals, Ron DeSantis, the Florida governor, ha hasn't even uh, uh, jumped into the race yet. So there's still some expectations that think, you know, things may solidify there with more Americans paying attention to this race as we get further into the summer. Uh, the president also sat down with MSNBC over the weekend where he was questioned again about his age. Uh, how is the campaign pushing back on the narrative that the president is too old? Uh, two words, Vlad: uh, experience and presidential. Uh, if you, if you know, if you, if when that ca the question arises, and as I mentioned, it has come up more and more. Uh, you know, six in ten Americans in that latest poll say President Biden does not uh, have the mental sharpness or physical health to serve effectively uh, as president. That's you know, according to that Washington Post ABC News poll. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, but it, it's something that. Um, that we will, um, that will, you know, I think it's something that will continue to come up is that is that age question. But experience is what the campaign says. Experience is what the White House has, says. The, the president has, uh, you know, decades of experience both on the Hill and, and in the White House, and it's something that uh, you know the point that you need to, uh, they say, a steady hand uh, at the helm uh, while we go through uh, this uh, uh, turbulent time, if you will. Uh, so they point to that and. and and, and frankly, uh, the other the other thing they point to is the fact that he's being presidential. He's going around the country, showing uh, showcasing uh, his agenda, his l legislative achievements that he's made, uh, pointing to some of the policies that he's implementing now that 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 highlight um, and, and distinguish himself between um, the previous administration uh, and you know and and, uh, and 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 frankly Donald Trump, the former president, of course, who is the uh, early front runner amongst the. Uh, the Republican field.
So while we have you here, I want to ask you about something else. Um, there are reports out that uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, when he was running to become the, the governor in 2018, was sort of very aware of not doing anything that would anger Donald Trump. Don't want to poke the bear. What's his approach this time around? I mean, he well, has, I, he's not officially running. I have to make that clear. Right. But right. All he's signs not officially point to. running. But yeah, but all signs point to, um, you know, there there is a, a wide and, and likely expectation that he will be jumping into this race uh, as early as later this month or even early June, uh, somewhere along that timeline. But uh, uh, but frankly, uh, with Ron DeSantis, like that's that's very similar to what you're hearing now, Anne Marie. When I was in Iowa recently, and you, you speak to some of these Trump supporters, you know their number uh, to pick, if you will, is is still Ron DeSantis. Now um, that's because, and because of the caucus system, that's a very important uh, distinction and very important place to be. Um, so in many of the polls, even though you know that 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 uh, the lead uh, among among uh, the lead uh, uh, that Donald Trump has in the in these recent surveys is growing, uh, uh, DeSantis still remains that number two, even if though it's in double digits, this, you know, the, the, the space between them. Uh, however, you know, it's still sort of the same attitude and, and strategic perspective if, if, uh, with Ron DeSantis and Marie, because he still needs, he still needs that MAGA supporter. If things, for whatever reason, develop in a way that, you know, um, the, that the attention shifts to a potential other person, uh, Ron DeSantis is, is trying to portray himself as uh, as that, you know, second choice, if you will, to a lot of these MAGA uh, base voters. At the same time, he's trying to appeal to the establishment Republicans, uh, you know, many of whom here in Washington, uh, as someone who can, you know, can essentially uh, uh, be the nominee with, without having the Trump baggage, but still uh, adhering to essentially the Trump era policies and uh, Trump administration policies overall. Uh, so he's trying to ride this fine line and we'll, we'll see what happens. But again, he's not he's not into the race. He's expected to again later this month or as early as uh, early, or early in the summer. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. But Finney, uh, let me just ask you really quickly. There's been yeah. some reporting that uh, some major donors are sort of um, maybe thinking about withholding their support for DeSantis uh, and perhaps privately uh, asking him to consider running in 28. Uh, could that happen? Could he not announce? Or is this, as far as you know from your reporting and others, a done deal? You know, I, I spoke to some people in the Santos world, and I talked to them about that, that specific narrative. Uh, they say it was it was implemented by Trump supporters and and, and Trump and the Trump team. Frankly, uh, th th I've asked that question repeatedly, and and the, the response I get is that you know it, it hasn't changed. The narrative, the the trajectory of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has not changed, and and the, and that he's likely uh, to enter to the race. Uh, th this is also important to remember, Vlad. The Republican Party, um, you know, if you if you step aside and don't run, um, there's a short shelf life right now. In 2028, almost everyone will, will run, most likely if it's an open race. Uh, and it also shows, you know, amongst the Republicans and the ones that I told that I spoke to, that if they if he stepped aside, it would be a, sort of the sign of weakness. And within the Republican Party, you know, it's like you're really supposed to demonstrate this 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 uh, this strength, if you will. And I think by doing that action. It could cause uh, it could cause a rise in that criticism, and I don't think that's something that the DeSantis camp would like to do. I, I, I would be very um, I would be surprised if, if he did not enter this race. Really interesting points, Finn. Thank you very much.